Hello Internet, this is Bone Carlos coming to you with another video game review. Today's edition is going to be brought to you by Flex for Life and we're going to be taking a look at Prototype. But before we get started, I'd also like to point out that if there's any game you'd like for me to review, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll put it on my Gamefly list and take it from there. Just remember though, no AAA games, no surefire blockbuster hits. Just underappreciated or underperforming games, and uh, I'll take it from there. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this uh, little uh, adventure here. If you don't know anything about Prototype, it's pretty much an open world game, obviously, that's set in New York City, where you just cause as much chaos and destruction as possible while at the same time trying to uncover the secret to your newfound powers. Now, in theory, this sounds like a fantastic video game. Everything you could ever want in any kind of sandbox title. But unfortunately, the delivery is somewhat lacking in my opinion. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is truly enjoyable uh, ranking up your character, leveling up your character, flying around the city, destroying things left and right, picking up things, throwing them, mowing through hundreds and hundreds of infected without as so much as a glance but certain elements really got to me but first we're gonna be talking about the menu system actually not really the menu system is pretty basic state uh, straight straightforward straightforward you have your uh, different upgrades that you can do for your mo uh, movability life survivability etc 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 there's nothing too hard to grasp on any of these topics. There really isn't. Um, it's all pretty much self-explanatory in some you can get uh, while exploring and doing certain missions. This is pretty much your your wheel, your power wheel. You could select between different off offensive uh, weapons, your disguises. Uh, you could also set up between your uh, your armor types. You could either be cased completely in armor or have a shield. Um, it's pretty, pretty, I mean, it works fa fairly well in, in game. It, it, there's just a slight delay to switching up the, the, the weapons that I don't really particularly enjoy. I don't like having to stop mid-combo just to be able to switch into a different weapon if, uh, if I wanted. I, I know it sounds like something to gripe, but when you're, when in execution, we're actually doing it. It's really annoying to have to stop a combo, be hit by an enemy because you stop hitting them just to switch up your weapon type because the one you're using isn't effective against the new type of enemy the game threw at you. Um, as you can see, the graphics, I know this is in SD, but um, the graphics aren't anything spectacular. In fact, they're kind of underwhelming. I mean, you'll smash a car and it actually crunches flat. Nothing too crazy about it. Damage is just some cosmetic... Uh, differences here and there uh, and the more um, cracks in the armor that you have the bigger the damage is until it explodes there's nothing really too fancy about it as you can see you can pretty much jump around fly around do what you want and what you will and and it's fun it is don't get me wrong it is, it is fun for the first couple of hours after that the little kinks in the game kind of start to wear thin I, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been fighting an enemy right in front of me lock try to lock on but instead it locks on to a helicopter that's four blocks away and about a mile into the air uh, i'm not even exaggerating in the slightest i wish i was i really wish i was but it, that's not what happened in this game um the the store so you we've talked about everything else the graphics aren't anything uh aren't anything great the sound is also average also very much on average um, characters was alright. The best part about the whole game, I would say, would probably be the voice acting. The voice acting was pretty decent. Um, the story mode was just, I, I think it was just slapped together. I wish they would have, uh, it was there. There was a possibility for a story to be a real blow your mind, kind of, whoa, I can't believe this is really happening kind of thing, but it, 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 it fell short, honestly. Um, I did like the way that you were able to unlock the story, though. You, um, are able to absorb, uh, people. And you absorb their memories, you unlock a web of intrigue, and then you get cutscenes or um, little snippets of information from their memories to be able to unlock, see what's going on with you. That I particularly enjoyed. I just wish they would have fleshed it out a little bit more. <clears throat> so here I'm just showing off the basic powers and whatnot. It, like I said before, it is fantastic to be able to decimate an entire city block. 
at the beginning of the game because there's not much going on but towards the end when the computer and the game basic uh, the game basically just spawns enemies on top of you it really it really gets aggravating really quickly so all in all I, I would not suggest buying it for the price even though you could get it used for about 16 bucks so under 20 bucks you could get it used I would still not recommend buying this game uh, I would definitely recommend borrowing it but don't spend any money on it uh, same thing with uh, part two. I know part prototype two is going to come out pretty soon, but um, yes, hopefully they flesh out the kinks that was happening in this game for part two. Otherwise, that's pretty much my take on prototype. Hope you guys enjoyed. If not, oh well.